So we're live one more time. So hello, everybody. Thank you for coming, though I think nobody's coming yet. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming and nobody's coming. <laughs> OK, my name, if you don't know me, my name is Monica Stoker. And I'm the author of the blog Para Aprender Inglés. And here with me is Craig Whelan. Uh, okay, Craig. Uh, thank you for coming too. Now we have three people coming. Now. I'm here. I'm here. Uh, I came. Yeah, uh, so okay. <laughs> okay. So how are you today, Craig? I'm very yeah. well, thank you. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, trying yeah. to survive. Um, so and and then uh, we have a very well uh, as usual. We have our loyal friend Christine. Hi, hi, Monica. Hi, Christine. Hi, hi Craig. Is she saying? And, and hi, Rafa. Rafa. Rafa has the name on there. And Gemma, of course. Gemma. And Gemma. Thank you very much Gemma, for coming. And, and today, what's, the, what's today's topic? Today's um, topic is different types of crimes. Last week, we spoke about legal vocabulary in general, and we looked at some words and expressions connected to legal English. But this week, we're going to focus specifically on crimes, criminals, and the verbs associated with different crimes. So we're going to look at different forms of the words and what they mean, um, because some of them are quite confusing, aren't they? Yes, they not, are. And I, I'm, not, I'm not really easy. surprised when I, I started looking at all the list of crimes. There are so many crimes and different names for crimes because... Because yep. uh, I think uh, there are a lot of criminals out there. The reason why you have a broad vocabulary in certain areas is because a lot of things are happening. <laughs> and, and they're not always the same in Spanish. Sometimes the translation is no, not the same and it's confusing. No, sometimes they can be very confusing because it's, it's, uh, uh, you think it's um, one meaning and, and there's another meaning and then the other thing is that you have to have some sometimes some legal knowledge to be able to distinguish exactly what it is because and another thing i discover is that sometimes in in south america the the um, some of the translations are not exactly the same as in spain because of the you know, different terminology legal terminology no exactly. so we can start by i'm going to take um the first one which is a very easy one, and I wanted to start by stealing, stealing as <clears throat> the crime, and stealing because it's a very generic word. It's very, um, it covers everything. And so uh, the verb is to steal, and we have the person who steals is a thief, <laughs> okay? Thieves, but the funny thing in English, I think in Spanish too, but I, I don't have a very good knowledge in Spanish of the different names of different kinds of thieves. But I, I know Craig knows a lot about this, the burglar. In Spanish <laughs> or in English? In, Sp no. in English, you mean? <laughs> in, English, in English, there are a lot of names. In Spanish, and... I haven't got a clue what they're no, called. No, no, no. In Spanish, not. But in English, you know a lot of these names because this is a... There are, in English, there are many different names according to the type of, the way of stealing. So it's, uh, it's very interesting to see this because it's, depending on the type of action, you're going to have a different name. And thief, remember the plurals with a V, thieves, uh, uh, that is generic. Thief can be anybody, you know, anybody that steals. And that is a very, a very helpful vocabulary, this because you can use it in any occasion, okay? Ah, they stole my money, they stole my purse, whatever. But now we're going to get into something that is a little bit more complex. Just one second, can you can you yes. go back one second, Monica? Yes. I want to yes. add one more thing. Um, yes. First of all, the verb to steal is irregular. So you have oh, steal, yes. stole, stolen. Stole. Someone yes. has yes. stolen my money. Yeah. And one more thing, although thief is the person, there is another, word for the crime which is theft so ah, theft th is too. E -F -T, theft is yeah. also the crime and as we said last time we spoke about crime some of these words collocate with to commit so again you can commit theft theft
theft is the noun. The person is a thief, but a thief steals things. So the, but, the crime is also stealing. But theft, I, I, I find that theft is something more, um, it's more formal for, for many times you find this in a written English and not so much in spoken English, no? yeah. as far as I know. Rafa okay, is ahead. Rafa's ahead of the game. Rafa's jumping ahead there because yes, he knows yeah, yes. the word Rafa, burglar. You know, you know, and and I, I hope you have never been, <laughs> been burglar. Uh, okay, tell us about to burgle. Yeah, so burgle is one way of stealing things, but burgling is it collocates with a property. So you can burgle a flat, which means you go inside the flat and you steal things. You can burgle a house. You go into the house and you steal things. You can burgle an office. You go into the office and you steal things. So burgle is stealing, but collocates goes together with particular places, houses, flats, offices, etc. Burgle is the verb, and as Rafa knows, the person is a burglar and Rafa's okay, put the and, correct spelling in the chat. Yeah, I, I wanted to say something about this. In the Spanish I found a very nice translation for this verb and it's desvalijar. desvalijar. I've, le I've learned a new word today. Yeah, desvalijar. desvalijar. That's desvalijar. the correct word to translate it because I didn't know either. No, I didn't, it wasn't, I wasn't familiar, but when I read that, I said, oh, yeah, that's right, because it's really to enter into a house and take the, the things that you have in the house. It's not to, to rob, it's not, it's not to mug, it's a completely different word, okay? And the burglar usually is the one that is with, goes in with gloves and, you know, the ones that you see in the films. And the with a mask, like the Pink Panther, goes <laughs> and breaks into the house, no? The one that breaks into the house. That's a, a burglar. You're a burglar. You, you have and to the, be like professional, no? And yes. Uh, yes. And the, the vowel sound of burgle or burglar is er. Uh, so it's the same as in words like nurse or learn. Mm -hmm. Aprender, learn. It's that er uh sound, yeah. burglar, to burgle. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we have to mug. It's funny Ooh, because this is a mug. Yeah, that, exactly. I was going to say that. I don't have a mug here, but it's Finish una jarrita. Mug is a, as a noun, right? Because as it a, is noun. a noun. Yeah, but wait, when it's a verb, then have you ever been mugged? Um, have you ever been mugged? Have I ever been mugged? That You know, that's a good question. I've never been mugged in Spain, although my dad was <laughs> mugged in Barcelona. Oh, they yeah? Stole they stole his passport. If you mug someone, then you steal from them in the street. Now, sometimes it's with violence. You pull a knife or a gun or you hit somebody. So when you steal something from a person with violence or a violent intention, that is mugging someone. So mugging with double G is the crime. The mm -hmm. person is a mugger and the verb is to mug. I can't remember if I've been mugged. Have you ever been mugged? No, no. I uh, that that's uh, Lucky fortunately, for you. fortunately, fortunately, I haven't been mugged. But in some countries or in some places, it's, it's quite easy to be mugged. So it depends on where you go. I mean, you have to be careful. But I have not been mugged. No, I have Lucky been. Uh, uh, the, I think that as have far you as been I burgled? Remember, uh, neither, not not. But my brother was. I remember one time in yeah. in Bulgaria. She was he was living for for a while in Bulgaria, and they took his computer and many things. Um, and in my case, uh, well, I didn't want to get into that because there are too many. There, I was <laughs> it. There are too many. Christine, Christine has a good. It. Christine yeah. has a good question. If you can put that question on the screen, yeah, Monica, ransacking. Me. To ransack mm -hmm. a property or a uh, house. Wait, 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 where is Christine? Ah, oh. yeah, Christine is uh, our advanced student because she always is using very sophisticated vocabulary. And I really have to think about how yeah, to explain <laughs> Christine's vocabulary, the <laughs> questions that Christine has because very, they're quite difficult. Yeah, the, the, 
to ransack okay. a house to make a you go inside christine and you make a really big mess of the property so you can be burgled but they just yeah. steal things and they go but if they ransack your house or ransack your flat they tip things out of the drawer and they break the glasses and they take things out of your cupboard and your wardrobe so to ransack a house is to make a complete leo complete mess of yeah. the property so for example uh, you could say something like a uh, burglars ransacked her home <laughs> something like that you know because the burglar the way of acting is more aggressive no destroying exactly. things is more destroy and i don't know at this moment i cannot think of a word for that and then uh, rafa says something yeah I was saying that Christine is the C2 level. <laughs> uh, oh, Rafa says... Rafa was mugged in Madrid. I've been mugged, double G and ED, no? Mugged. Yeah, I was mugged, would be better, uh, Rafa. Yeah. I was mugged in Madrid. Yeah, yeah Madrid can uh, be dangerous. Madrid and Barcelona. And Rafa also says, it's funny because in South America, I use the word valijas to talk. Yeah, this valijar, probably is a very old word, this valijar, but it, it makes sense to me. For me, it's a very good translation of, uh, to, what was it, to burglar. To burglar. Uh, um, yeah, mud, mud. They haven't been mugged, no. It must okay. be mugged as well. Yeah, oh, see, horrible, everybody horrible in the thing. past, yeah. And, and Rafa said, in Madrid. <laughs> so I have not, I've been pickpocketed. <laughs> Carterista. Yeah, it was. Uh, I didn't really realize this is a little bit less aggressive because you don't even realize somebody's stealing from you, you know, because yeah. you don't know who did it, and it usually happens in, in a. In my case, it was on a bus, but it can be in the underground and places like that. We don't have that word, uh, by the way, peep pocket. I had to stop putting words because there were many words. <laughs> that, well, let's. Let's go back here. You, we have to rob and to steal. To steal was, okay, we already said it. Yeah, Generic. so we've looked at to burgle, we've looked at to mug, um, mugger, and mugging is the verb. Now, to rob, again, is stealing, but similar to burgle, it's collocation that makes the difference. So I said you burgle a flat, you burgle a house, but you rob a bank, for example, or you rob a post office. Now, if someone burgles a house, you can say, I have been robbed using the passive. So, yes, you can use rob when people have stolen from you. But generally, when you speak about people stealing things, just remember the difference of rob and burgle is often collocation. Rob a bank, a bank robber, and burgle a house or burgle a flat. And mm. as we said before, stealing is the generic, the general umbrella word for all of the other words, yeah. to mug, to burgle, to rob. You're, it's all stealing. You're stealing money or you're stealing possessions. And you can steal somebody's identity as well. Yeah, and for the next word, I I just want to, because we, we already mentioned this, I just want to emphasize that in this case, uh, uh, in, in the case of mug, is outside. And... And robbery, it's a collocation, is usually inside. You know, it could be like a bank. And so the difference basically is, is outside, inside, you no? Know? Because it could also be violent. Usually. It depends. Yeah, because a robbery is usually, well, like in Spanish, atracar, when you go uh, and you say, your life or the money, that's robbery. <laughs> <laughs> my life, my life, I'm saving money. <laughs> <laughs> Take my life. Like, I want to keep like, the money. <laughs> this is a, so I, I like the word robber. He is a robber. <laughs> it's a robber. Rafa's asking about um, pickpocket to pick. Yeah, I, I mentioned P -I -C -K, that word. Yeah. Rafa, yeah. it's when you, you have something in your pocket like some money or a passport yeah. and somebody without you knowing yeah. picks, picks yeah. your pocket. The person is a pickpocket. And the crime is yeah, pickpocketing. To pick, yeah, the, and that's uh, in Spanish is carterista, and it carterista comes from cartera. There's a wallet, so it's somebody who steals wallet. Maybe one of them means hurto. Well, hurto is a legal definition. Yeah, as you know, Rafa, hurto 
is without violence, is without breaking in anything. And in Spanish definition is that uh, contrary to stealing, that stealing is really you, you use violence and you use, uh, uh, you can break into a building, no? Uh, but in, in English, I would say that, let me see if I can find the difference here. I While think, you're looking, let me just say that, Rafa, it's mug, the person who mugs is a mugger. M U double G E R, yeah. a mugger. We don't have in English. We don't have the same uh, definition. It says just robbery, theft, like theft, like uh, like uh, Craig said at the beginning. No, there's a the the word for the noun for stealing. And let me see. Um, oh, Christina, Christine mentions raid, but raid is. Um, it's an attack, actually. A raid is when <laughs> I remember many years ago, there was an insecticide called raid. I don't know if you ever said that. The, yeah, you know, they, they still they still make it. You can buy still it. Make also. it? Yeah, that, yeah. that for me was a very good way to remember the meaning of this word. Because if you raid the house with these insecticides, all the mosquitoes fly away and <laughs> suddenly, this is the idea, no? That is, is when you, for example, police raise a house, it, it's, yeah. they go everywhere, no? Uh, yeah. It's also so, good with cockroaches, right? Raid, if you have cockroaches in your house. So, in this case, raid is uh, very good. it's just a way to get rid of mosquitoes, but it's the same way, it's the same thing that the, the police can do in a house or in a, in a public building, you know, to try to, um, get as many criminals as possible or potential criminals or or i don't know it's, it's very it's, violent it's like, it's like a entry by force but it's not exactly. only the it's not only the police do you remember when the trump supporters raided oh, the yeah, capital they, the capitol yeah, building in yeah, washington yeah. and they ran up the steps and they broke yeah. into there's that phrasal verb again to break into they broke into the capitol hill and they raided the offices of the politicians mm -hmm, so correct. it collocates often with police but it's not only the police you can also raid a building if everybody runs in together I thought it was only the police because for this uh, term is taken from the militars. I think it's a it's a it's a military uh, word from the army. No, is that, my light is too bright here. Uh, I look to I'm trying to get rid of the light. Okay, so um, the, what uh, I read. What it, right, Redada, Rafa, good, Redada. He says Redada. It's an wait. attack on a bank. Redada, yeah, Redada, una Redada. That's very good, Rafa. That's so good. <laughs> attack on There's, a bank. I mean, shop I, in which you, you, use sorry, I'm going to turn off the light here because it's, I think it's better. No, no, no. Still, I have a lot of light. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, and what was what were we saying, uh, Christine? I read that was an attack you're, on a You're bank. right, Monica. I'm just reading now on, I've asked Mr. Google. Mr. Google says a raid is a rapid surprise attack on an enemy by troops, aircraft, or other armed forces. So armed you're forces. absolutely correct. Mm -hmm. Like a bombing raid, for example. Yeah, exactly. So that's also another uh, meaning. I read that. I think you mean um, raid, no? Raid. Christine, you mean raid, no? I read that it was an attack on a bank shop, especially one which, in which the thieves use weapons. Yeah, usually is the case because they need to control the criminals, and the way to do it is to mm -hmm. have a lot of police with with uh, with weapons too to try to counterattack, no, and control the situation. Um, eh, eh, well, and Felipe says. There's a meme. Your money Me. or your life? <laughs> money. Money life. life? Dude, Dude, I'm, I'm married. married. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Funny. That's funny. Okay. Let's go back to her. Uh, <laughs> we are assault. We're doing it this together. Assault was in the capital. This for me was a assault. But yeah, we Spanish just gave the perfect, the perfect example. Assault on the capital on, in Washington. But it can also... But it can also be uh, 
also on has a person. A, on a person, and then it can be a sexual. Let me see. Exactly. Let me see. A, a, a physical attack on someone. It's a physical. Yes. Uh, you, you can assault um, well, a police officer. You can assault anybody who's walking on the street. So it's physical. Try to 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 attack someone in and also do some it's, sexual. It's not, <laughs> Rafa's, Rafa's asking about the preposition. It depends, Rafa. If it's a verb, Wait, then like, there's no preposition. Is. You assault someone. Oh, I was assaulted by another person. However, when it's a noun, yes, you're right. There's often the preposition on. Exactly. There was an, an assault on the parliament, for example. So when it's a noun, yes, with on. When it's a verb, usually no preposition. Mm -hmm. with, when it's a verb, no preposition again. And when it's a noun, there is a preposition that is on. Oh. There was an assault on, for example, the director of the of the company. Or oh, he pleaded guilty to assaulting a police officer, for example. Okay, and let me see assault. Uh, the good thing is that uh, oh, one thing I want to say was about the person, the criminal, is an attacker and not an assaulter. Though you are going to find that word. In the dictionary, but Craig said to me, "No, I never heard that, so it doesn't exist." <laughs> no, I didn't say. That. <laughs> I didn't that. say that. Said I said, that. "I said it's not common." I said, "It's not a common." I think yeah. I said, "It's not a common." I would say, "An attacker, a person who yeah, assaults you, is an attacker." But sometimes, not an assaulter. The, the, sometimes my students start asking me. Do you know this word and this and that? And I said, no, that word doesn't exist. And I go to the dictionary, I find the word, and I said, I don't know. It six, but I never heard it. Because you know, you know, there's one thing I've learned all these years being a teacher. Don't yeah. give any extreme definite <laughs> rules. No. You need to say <laughs> that's not common, or that's people exactly. don't usually say that, or yeah. That's not a, a, um, a usual thing to say because when you say that's, that's a rule or people never do that, there will always be a student I mean, who gives you an example. And this happened to me at the beginning when I started teaching. Yeah. From then onwards, I said, <laughs> I, I do what you say. Like I said, I think it doesn't exist, but it could be maybe in another country. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> Let me check it. Check it out. Okay. Uh, yes, Christine, that's correct. Uh, Trump supporters led one. an all-out assault on the yeah. Capitol. Correct, Christine. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, let's go see. Trump supporters. Okay, this is a C1, C2 student Trump supporter. Led an all-out assault on the Capitol. On the Very good. Very good. Uh, uh, so we don't know the words and, uh, of our languages, yeah, many times because they're in, in English. I can tell you it's very difficult because there are like a million words. So it's very difficult to know all the words. And let, no, let. Uh, yeah, the past of lead. Yeah, past of yeah. mistakes. So yeah, lead. Okay. Uh, shoplifting. I like this one, but I don't know. I did the, I'm confused now. I don't know whose turn is it. Is your turn or my turn? Now, because we've been talking a lot. Um, well, uh, we can do it. We can do it. We can do it together. We can do it together. Shoplifting, you... I love it because this is urto en tiendas. This is the word. Um, this is for um, Rafa. Rafa was asking about urto, and usually in shops, this is the word urto in Spanish, because shops. Uh, you don't really break into the shop. You just make like nobody's looking at you. You're trying to, and you just put it in your pocket and Steals go away. Something. That is shoplifting. Shop and lift. So you don't you don't lift the shop. You <laughs> no, steal you uh, steal things from the shop. The shop, yeah. And you are a shoplifter. I, I have you ever been a shoplifter? Honestly, I have. When really? I was. When About I <laughs> 14 or 15, I have a friend. Well, I, st I have, I had a friend. I have a friend still. He's still my best friend. And we shoplifted books from a bookstore. But we wanted some was... books on astronomy and we didn't yeah. have the money to buy them. 
So we went into the shop and we we shoplifted. <laughs> oh, and also I shoplifted some sweets in a sweet shop, some chocolate when I was well, I 14. Or earlier than you did because I was about six when I did it. Really? <laughs> I remember I thought it was no crime. I thought, oh, I went the, it was a kind of cacao for the for the lips. And I, I remember I took it and my and my father saw me and he said, don't you know that that's not allowed? They said, oh, really? <laughs> I just put it in the pocket. Yeah, what but six years you? old, that's your very yeah, young. I was very young, yeah, but I thought it was possible to do this and nobody would see you, you know. I was Kleptomaniac, uh, says Christine, yeah. really enjoyed really dropping enjoyed. in on shops. Oh. I love the use of dropping in on three-word phrasal verbs. That's got yeah. to be 10 points in Scrabble. Yeah. Let me, dropping let me in on it. shops. A kleptomaniac is a person, is it the same in Spanish, who steals things? Yes, it's like exactly the same. Phobia are, almost. It's a compulsion, isn't it? Yeah. And, and, uh, and uh, Rafa is telling a story when I was a child and the owner catch me. I mean, let me caught see. me, Rafa. It's an irregular verb. So catch, caught, caught. Yeah. caught. Like teach, taught, taught. So the Whoa, owner Felipe is me. here. My, my father is a battery lift. <laughs> He usually puts batter in his pocket and forget to pay for it. <laughs> Sometimes. Uh, so, uh, does he ever get charged by the police? Yes. Arturo, of charge course. A battery, I mean, charge a battery? No, never mind. Shoplifting is an illegal activity, of course, but sometimes people do it when they're, especially children, and sometimes it's because they are kleptomaniacs and they cannot help it. You know, but you yes, it's feel, illegal. Yeah, yeah, it is illegal, of course. That's why we're talking about crimes today, and we have many. Uh, okay, let me see. Uh, next one. A uh, was it? Ah, um, oh, this one. I also like this one because they, we don't have really word in Spanish. Maybe somebody comes up comes up with a new word for me, but we don't Isn't it connected it. to pyrotechnica or pyro, oh, pyro, yeah. like burning? Yeah, but pyro, burn. pyrotechnica is when they, the, for firecrackers, when there's a, the celebration, but that's legal, that's, that's the control, but this is something, pyromano, oh, but yes. pyromano, is a pyromano is someone who, oh, an arsonist, Yes. Who, who likes to burn things is true but i don't know the crime the crime because in in in, in english there is a name of the crime maybe somebody says it Piromano, is saying, Piromania. Piromania. Yeah. um Gemma's asking are subtitles uh essential well for Gemma, the thing is that there's a way for us to organize the talk because in this in this way uh, if we don't have the subtitles, we don't know exactly what we're going to talk about. Because <laughs> it's, it's more than a subtitle, it's just a banner. Of, uh, the sub, the subtitles is, are our lesson plan. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> our lesson plan, because we have to um, uh, coincide, no? Uh, yes, uh, uh, Rafa, I was thinking about um, Winona Ryder as well when we were speaking about shoplifting because she was accused and charged with shoplifting years ago. So I was thinking of the actress as well, Winona mm. Ryder. Mm. And with um, arson, one problem with English sometimes is that the one word has no relation or no connection in the spelling to the Spanish word, and how can you remember it? Well, one trick, if you can associate the English word with what the word means, with a picture in your mind, it's easier to remember. For example, my favorite football team is Arsenal. Oh, Ars yeah. Arsenal yeah. has a stadium. So mm -hmm. if you imagine Arsen, Arsen, Arsenal, very, very similar, if you imagine the stadium burning on fire, the Arsenal football stadium, you can connect Arsen, Arsenal, to the meaning of to catch fire. So using that trick to make a picture in your head to remember a word that has no connection or doesn't have any apparent connection with Spanish. Yeah, and there's no verb here. To burn. <laughs> well, yeah, but, 
I suppose. Generic, because arson is actually a noun. And you'd, use commi you'd use commit, you'd use the collocation to commit, commit yeah, arson, to commit arson. murder, to yeah. commit, hmm. etc. And then, well, this is, I think this is for me. I don't know if there's a mnemotechnia, Rafa says, mnemotechnia. It's a fire bug, let me see. A fire bug? I don't know that word, Christine. I'd have yeah, to you check. See, you see what happens with words in English? <laughs> So I never heard that. Me neither. I don't know. I never oh, heard that. Bug. What does that mean? What is um? In Francisco, it is a pathology. Yes, uh, arson is a pathology because you feel it also stealing from shoplifting many times. It's a uh, restaurant. It's a restaurant in Barcelona. Firebug, Firebug. Barcelona brunch, brunch bar yeah. bistro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what it means. Sorry, Christine. Okay. I don't know that now, one. this one, blackmail. I am going to blackmail you, Craig, because I've seen you doing <laughs> things that are, um, I don't know, kind do you know of my criminal. Do you know my secrets, Monica? Yeah, I know your secrets. And so what I can do is I oh. can blackmail you and I say to you, okay, Craig, if you don't give me this amount of money, I am going to tell the police about what you're doing. And so because you're afraid of me telling the truth, um, you pay me. And that is to blackmail. It's, it's, I like this term, blackmail, because it's like correo negro, something like that. And probably because, you know, you, you, sometimes you write this and, I don't know, they probably and there's something dark. This is the dark I think side. It, I think it Another comes way. from Scotland when, um, or England mm -hmm. when people had to pay the land or land owner mm -hmm. like a like rent. Them. They used to have to pay money to the land owner. Yeah. Uh, it, they called it black money because it wasn't legal. Really, they didn't like having to pay. So it, I think it originates from the time when. You lived in a village, and you paid the person who was who had the land. Exactly. So I think that's where it's from. It's, words, not, it's not connected to mail, like I thought posting. that. But you're right because it says the word blackmail is variously derived from the word for tribute in modern terms, racket, mm -hmm. protection racket, paid by English and Scottish border dwellers to border border rivers in return for immunity from from raids. And other harassment. Well, from raids, there you go. From raids. So it was to avoid raids. So it, being attacked. No? So to a blackmailer is somebody. So in Spanish, we have the word extorsionar or chantajear for this word. Okay, mug again. We have mug. It's good to remember because we said at the beginning, but it's, a, it's good to remember because it's quite confusing, this one. So it's your great. I leave it to you, this. Um, I think we've covered that mug when you mm. we said that before when you steal money uh, with a threat of violence on the street it usually happens outside so when you burgle you're going inside a house or a property and you're stealing from inside but when you mug somebody it's usually on the street and the person who mugs is a mugger okay and this is a mug and there's no connection there's no connection whatsoever, but we can look for the etymology of the word. And it, I don't know if you, you see. What is the origin of this word? I'm, I'm sometimes mug to beat up originally to strike the face from face. Mug is face. The general mm -hmm. meaning, mean, gen, general meaning, attack. Uh, attack to rob. Attack mm -hmm. to rob. That's the meaning. Attack to rob. Okay, next one. And uh, next one, what is the next one? Embezzlement. Oh, this one. Also, I like this one. Embezzle and embezzler. Embezzlement is when you're supposed, for example, Craig says to me, Oh, Monica is such an honest person. I'm going to give her some amount of money I need to keep in a, in a, in a safe. And she's, she, I'm going to deposit the money with her in her safe and she's going to take care because she's going to do some things for me, like she has to do some paperwork. 
So I gave you uh, some uh, amount in deposit, and then I think, oh, this is nice. I can have this money for a while. Maybe I can use it for another thing. And I go shopping and I buy myself clothes and other things. That is to embezzle because I he trusted me to do something to, to, to take care of this money. And instead of taking care of the money, I spent the money. And when he comes asking, I said, what money? I had no money. You never gave me any money. And this is a disaster. No? But it happens, and it happens a lot in the governments because a public servant, on, on uh, a civil servant, public officer, is supposed to take care of certain public money, right? And many times it is not true. They use the money for other purposes that are not uh, supposed to be used for those purposes. And that is to embezzle. That is the verb. And, and the person who does it, is an embezzler. So uh, I think we have a lot of examples of this kind of crime, right? Unfortunately, yes. If you're corrupt and you work for an organization or a bank or a company and you're stealing money illegally from that company or organization, mm. you are embezzling money. So sadly, it happens very, very often. Uh, it could People be stealing money. Like a cashier, for example. Another, this is a Rafa says uh, Spain was embezzled, it, not a country, it would have to be embezzling money from an organization or a company, for example. So, um, imagine you work for the Olympic Committee and you're stealing money that should be for the Olympic Games, you are embezzling money from the Olympic organization or the football association or the bank or a, a, a company you work for, you're illegally stealing money from them and putting it in your bank account. Mm -hmm. So you can't really embezzle a country. That's not a no, no. Well, but I, I think he means in a figurative way. <laughs> right, Rafa? Because okay. it's, a, it's a, in a figurative way. Yes, true, because it's the public money, no? Usually it happens. Some people, no country, Francisco said, rightly so, Francisco. There's some people who, they're, who embezzle money. Okay, uh, what do we have next? Oh, this one is a good one for you. Okay, well, stalk, you may know stalk the noun as a piece of a plant or a flower. It's the stem or the green part usually of a, of a plant. But there's a meaning with crime because if you follow somebody and annoy them and harass them, to harass is... Molestar, I think, in Spanish. Acosar, um, more acosar. Acosar, acosar, so it's stronger. No, acosar. Con, con acosar. 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 Yes. To harass yes. someone, then you are a stalker. If you're bothering them, you're following them home every day, you're phoning them, you're harassing them online, you can be an online stalker as well. So you can follow somebody regularly on the internet to the point where you are invading their privacy so that is a stalker and the crime is stalking and you can go to prison if you're caught so it might not involve any physical contact or violence but you are invading the privacy of someone when you stalk them yeah this is um this is more common than we think huh? This happens a lot on the internet and social media when, for example, there's, uh, there are some influencers that are become famous and then they get, they get some stalkers around them because the people want to be ne next to celebrity, they find that where they live and, yeah. and it's a quite, and what would you say is the difference between to harass and to stalk? This is also collocation I think, because a, a stalk for me is more like, uh, like not really it's executing it's it's more, it, yeah that you don't see the person the other you don't let uh, it's not like um, face to face confrontation the stalker is always hiding and trying to see what you do and the yeah. harasser is 
the relationship in a, in a company or in another relationship that you confront the person all the time with saying things that are nasty and all that. Do you think that's the difference? Thing that also, for me, that's I think I think so. Yeah, and also uh, yeah. I'd add I think stalking's more serious. I think you can harass someone, but it's not necessarily a crime. You can harass them just once. You can. Mm. It's like bothering somebody. Yeah, bothering them, being a nuisance. Um, you're harassing me. You're bothering me. Go away. But when you stalk someone, it's consistent, and you follow them home, or you go everywhere on the internet that they are and you start to invade and go inside their life, and maybe they live in fear. So I think stalking is more serious than, yeah. than harassing. Yeah, uh, there's a difference too. A stalking is more acechar, and to harass is more acosar. And also harass can be sexual harassment. There is, you have to put the yes. adjective. There is yes. one type of harassment that is sexual. Not everybody, not all the harassment is sexual because it could be just uh, if I start saying terrible things to to, to Craig, but not sexually. But uh, which which word, Rafa, part. do you want? Do you want us to write? Is it harassment that you want us to write? That's double S. So that's H A R A double S is the verb yeah. to harass, hmm. and the noun, as Monica said, is harassment. No. Um, no double hmm. S. One R, Felipe. Double S, harass. Harass and harassment. Let's see if I can say this. Ah, no, but this is in the chat. I have to write it. I'm sorry, sorry. I have to make a banner for this. Wait, wait, wait a minute. You can write it in the chat, I think, Monica. I can't, but you can because you started. Yeah, I know I already, but I think so everybody can see it because otherwise in the chat maybe you don't see it. All right. Harass and harassment. It's the right spelling, right? Yeah. Harass. Yes. We're talking all the time about harass and harassment. And we didn't have that word because there are so many, I said at the beginning, there are so many crimes that we don't have enough space here to write the crimes. Now. Just one uh, R, Hema, with harass. Just one R. Uh, uh, okay. Let's go back to the list. And now we have kidnapping, kidnap, and kidnapper. This is my word, I think. And funny, here I want to say that this, this is a, it refers to a person always, because later we'll see another word that is similar in Spanish is to hijack, which refers to an object. But kidnap comes from children. A kid is a, is a child. And usually because at the beginning, the, the, I think the word originated from a kidnapping. So when, when, you, when the child is sleeping, because a nap is una siesta, so there comes somebody and snatches the, the kid and, and takes it away from the parents, for example. And that, that word now refers to any, any kind of person no? that, that can be kidnapped. No? At the I, beginning, think it was when, I think it was when the, the American colonies, like British yes. colonies in America, and they used to take children to work as slaves or servants yeah. for the English colonists. So they used to steal these children and take them away, kidnap them. But now, as Monica said, it can be an anyone. adult, anyone, mm -hmm. not only a child. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the origin of the word, but it's a funny word. The first time I saw this word, I thought, oh, what a funny word, kid and nap. Like, like, children sleeping, like, yeah. Yeah, children sleeping. Oh. It's not, nothing to do. And that's the reason. That's a, the origin of this word. Now, you have, uh, let me see if there's any other. Okay, no. Uh, this one, great. Yeah, this one's easy. This is when you take your money and you put it in your washing machine to clean it, right? Yeah. Money laundering. That's mm. logical. No, it's not. I'm joking. If you get money illegally, for example, through gambling smuggling. or prostitution or smuggling or robbing a bank, that money is not clean money. It's dirty money. It's illegal money. So you need to clean it. One thing you can do is go to a casino, and if you exchange the money for other people's money, it's clean. Nobody can trace it. Nobody can find it. So a money launderer is a person who cleans money for illegal, uh, for people who have stolen money or people who are earning money illegally. And you often see this in mafia films. The mafia have got all this money from drugs and 
prostitution, but they can't spend it, they can't use it, so they need to open a business, they need to open an Italian restaurant, and that business cleans the money, makes it legal. So that's money laundering. I didn't add this word, sorry, um, I didn't add this word because I thought it was too much, but uh, Rafael's smuggle is to uh, uh, contrabando, contrabandear, I think in Spanish, no? Smuggle. El contrabando. That's the, it's, a, it's, a nice, it's a nice word to say, isn't it? Smuggle. 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 So usually in, in Spain, it was Gibraltar. Sometimes people smuggle things to La Línea in Andalusia. Mm -hmm. And it's usually cigarettes or alcohol or things that are more expensive. And the south of Spain as well, um, the Costa del Sol. Lots of smuggling mm -hmm. happens across from Africa, drugs especially. Drugs, yeah. Uh, and Christine says maybe harass can be hostiga. Yeah, it could be, probably. Okay. Uh, and literally, uh, smuggle. I don't know, maybe. Ah, money launder, yeah. Money launder is, is uh, the same in Spanish, lavado de dinero Blan negro. Blanquear yeah. dinero. Blanquear dinero, yeah, it's the same, it's true. Uh, yeah, blanquear dinero, like uh, Gemma is saying. A lottery is, uh, Francisco says, lottery is a good way to clean money. I, I didn't know about the casino. You gave me some ideas. Maybe the next time I have to do some money laundering, I'll go to the casino. The problem is, Monica, sometimes you have to win because <laughs> if you take all your money to the casino and you lose everything, you haven't laundered anything, you've lost it. That's the problem with casinos. They always win. Okay, and here so, we so does the lottery. Here we have a word, trespass, trespassing. Trespassing is, um, it's uh, Hello, when no, you get into a property and you're not the owner or, or the tenant of the, of the property, you have nothing to do with the property and you decide to trespass. So to just jump in and, and many times it can be to steal, but other times it's nothing. You just get in there because of different reasons. That is illegal, okay? And here in Spanish, it has a very technical name. It's allanamiento, which is the difference between this and another, another verb you'll see later that in Spanish is ocupar, is that in the, in the next one is you, you have a purpose. You want to be in the house. But in trespassing, you're not, you're just in there because of different reasons, because maybe you want to get a, the, your, your, your bowl that fell in the garden of the neighbor. Even in that case, you should ring the bell and say, can I get my bowl <laughs> or can you get it for me? Because if you did this in, in a moment when you were not uh, supposed to do, you were not allowed to do this, it's a, it's a crime. And they could report you to the police and say, this person, Craig, was trespassing my property. So many times I remember in the United States, it says like a big sign, no trespassing. And in keep, some keep areas, out. yeah, yeah. In, in some areas, especially, uh, I suppose, public buildings and all that, because it's also considered private property. Private property in our uh, society is very important. So you are not supposed to get in there. No way, no, not, not even if you go through the door because you're not allowed to be there. It's not your property. And that in Spanish is called allanamiento. Okay, and so the next one, I put the next one for-, for One break. second, let's, get, let's answer Christine's question yes. first. Ah, ah, we Christine, use breaking and entering, meaning allanamiento de morada. It's different, Christine, because if you're breaking and entering, you're going inside a property. Mm. If you're trespassing, Legally, it's yeah. on the person's land. Yeah. And I didn't say that very clearly, but it's land. Yeah, the land. And, and besides, the meaning here is different. Ah, you say allanamiento de morada. And well, now you explain squatting. Let's, let's go to the next one. You can explain this one. Uh, okay. Squatting, yes, to squat. The yeah. verb to squat has, I can think of two meanings. One is not connected to crime it's when you bend your knees oh, and yeah. go lower Sentadilla. so if you're doing Sentadilla. exercises at the gym yeah. you do squats and if you're yeah. speaking to a child who's very small maybe mm. you squat down to yeah. speak at the same level but that's got nothing to do with crime the meaning Sentadilla. in this mm. in this sense 
is to go into a house that's not occupied or a flat and live there. Now, you don't pay rent. It's not your place. So you go inside and you squat. You live there and you do not pay any rent. Of course, that's illegal, but it's very difficult for someone to remove you legally from that property. The person is a squatter and the crime is squatting. Um, and Christine was saying, this will be allanamiento de morada, I think. Um, because morada means house in, in, English, in Spanish, sorry. Oh, I didn't know that, okay. And the squatter wow. is, uh, is el ocupa. But it's, in, in Spanish from Spain, we use the word ocupa. Uh, and ocupar. Occupier. Yeah, occupier. exactly. And un ocupa. But I suppose this word is different in other countries, in Spanish-speaking countries. Because it's not this, it could be that it's not the same. Uh, but the the word in English is squatter. This, um, and then I have. If there are no more questions or comments, hijacking. I was talking about kidnapping some moments ago. Hijacking is for objects. Usually, it can be a car, a helicopter, a plane. So, a hijacker is the typical criminal that would go onto the plane. And in the past, it was quite common. They hijacked uh, planes all the time. But because this started to happen, now we have this, uh, when we check in in, a, in an airport, they're, they're going to see if you are carrying any weapons because hijacking is quite um, dangerous for the plane and for the passengers. So I think this this kind of crime has was less it was less common nowadays, no? Uh, yeah, also it, the security has been changed. Like before, yeah. I can remember when I was younger, flying in an aeroplane and the I could go inside and sit next to the pilot and the pilot explained the controls to me. I remember that. But oh, since 9-11 yeah, yeah. in America, they've completely changed the restrictions yeah. and they have video cameras and you cannot go where the pilot sits and that's really reduced, I think, the amount of hijackings. Yeah, yeah, it's not very common anymore, but it can still happen. For example, yeah. uh, the ships uh, and when they go into the they go into Africa, there are many of these very very um, let's say there are some of these these army or guerrillas that are like in in uh, Nigeria, I think. They take, they, they hijack the, the whole ship. They, they just get in there and they take control of it, no? Yes. Uh, uh, and he loses, in Mexico is paracaidistas. Ah, no, this is Ocupa. It's for the word Ocupa. And Francisco says, morada es residencia habitual. And Rafa says, morada is purple in Spanish, too. I knew morada. that, Rafa. I knew that meaning yeah. of morada, but I didn't yeah. know the other meaning. <laughs> Paracaidistas are the ocupas in Mexico. Okay. Banner. So hijack, hijacking. And now, again, we go back to murder. And uh, maybe we should do this together because murder, I wanted also to mention this. So murder is... Right. Yeah, no. Well, I'm sure you probably know what murder means. It means to kill someone illegally. Just be careful with the pronunciation no. because, again, that vowel sound is er, like learn or burgle. Yeah. So Bur murder, murder, a murderer. But, Monica, what's the difference between to murder and to assassinate? Assassinate. Um, Different verbs I, in English. Yeah, the... the I wanted to talk about this because this is a very, it's a very easy mistake because in Spanish it's asesinar in, in both cases. Usually we don't use the word magnicidio. Actually, I never use that word. So assassinate is uh, to kill a, a famous person or somebody like a politician. For example, we talk about Kennedy's assassination because Kennedy was the president of the United States. So they use the word assassination. They don't use the word murder. That's why you see assassination. And there's a famous game that I see in my son and my, my husband playing. I think it's called, uh, maybe you even know, okay, uh, uh, Assassin's Creed or something like that. 
And I suppose it has something to do with this. Everybody plays this game. There's a guy that's jumping all over and is I've heard, fighting. I've heard of it. I, yeah, I, th it I think it's also, is it a film as well? Maybe. I suppose, yeah, I suppose it's a film too. Assassin's a, Creed, I think it's, yeah, a, maybe the it's film is based on the game. It, yeah, could be, perfectly. Because it, the, the, I just want to emphasize that, that if you see the word uh, assassination in, in the newspaper in English, do not confuse it with murder, because murder is just anybody, okay? Uh, yeah. You kill anybody. There's not an important person, a celebrity or, or a politician or not. I would say the assassination is more for politicians, actually, more than celebrities. Would you say, for example, when they killed the John Lennon, was a murder? Yes, John Lennon was or, assassinated. Anyone yeah. famous? Anyone, anyone famous? famous? Okay. A politician, a religious politician. leader. So a if religious. you're if you're not famous, you're murdered, you're killed, and if you are famous, you're assassinated. Exactly. Do you have a different name? You have a different name. So if I you're assassinated, you know you've been successful in your life. <laughs> well, that, that is very relative. This seems great. Yeah, everybody's saying it. Yeah, that's why. Remember that word from that yeah, game? Yeah, it's a film. Okay. It's, it's Magnithidion. Okay, what a game. Everybody likes it. Yeah, and it's a film. Rafa says it's a film. Yes, everybody likes it because I've seen it. a lot of people playing that. Uh, okay, banners. Let's see. What else do we have? Oh, this one is... is um, well, I don't know. We can talk together. Craig, I'm lost now. Uh, trafficking. Okay, so this is with drug. This is called location with drug drug trafficking, no? Or, or people. Or, or people, yeah. People. Also, this is this, the, the problem with... Human trafficking. trafficking. Human trafficking. Unfortunately, this happens nowadays. And they do this a lot in this in uh, Nigeria. Countries like that. No? There's a yep. very violent so no connection so, i don't okay. think there's a connection with traffic like cars and buses and ca taxis is there no I but i think, think so. it's another use it's the just, idea of moving something maybe yeah, the moving. Mo yeah there's the there's a thing but it, it is another meaning but let me see trafficking probably is also the origin for me is latin mm -hmm. to buy and sell well tr look the Illegally. origin is 1540, yeah, uh, and preserving the original commercial sense. No, it doesn't say illegally, it says to buy and sell. What happened is, is traficar, but it became, a, it, it became a, a word to describe a crime but because probably what you were selling, the product that you were selling was not legal. So mm -hmm. probably trafficking was to buy and sell, but if you start buying and selling drugs, then it's not buying and sell. This is not trading. This is trafficking, no? And then this is the last one here is very easy, no? Okay, uh, Craig? I think it's so, similar in Spanish. Yeah, I think yeah, you say banded exactly in Spanish. But it comes from, I think it's from a Nordic or a Norse yes. word, or maybe a, from the Germanic tribes, the Vandals yes. from Scandinavia, exactly. who came exactly. to European countries to steal mm. and rape. Exactly. And that's another crime mm. we haven't mentioned, rape. But, rape. Um, yeah, yeah, you see yeah vandalism, like to vandalize. Vandalize is the verb. In the US, it's with a Z. In British mm. English, it's spelled with an, with an S. Um, vandalism is the crime, which is a bit different from the ing crimes we've seen trespassing uh mugging except uh, shoplifting etc so it's vandalism and ism is the crime and the person is a vandal mm -hmm. when you destroy public property and you spray graffiti everywhere and break the bus stops and smash windows that's vandalism vandals that's the same in spanish vandalos that was the name of the tribe no I think we're nearly out of time. Should we quickly yeah. do a recap of the yes, vocabulary recap. one final okay. time? So we to can go, summarize. Yes, steal, steal, a thief, a robar. And to burgle is to steal from a property, from a house or an office or a flat. Mug in the street outside with violence, usually hitting or with a knife. And rob a bank. Remember that collocation to rob a bank to burgle a house. And to steal is. Take something that's not yours. 
And then we have robbery, uh, uh, to rob, the verb, and a robber, uh, pues un atracar, uh, and un atracador, and it's usually, it could be a bank, it's collocation, like Craig said, with bank, it's inside. Um, then we have, for you, to, Craig? To assault, yeah, to attack someone, so assault is a crime, sexual assault is a common collocation, um, and the person who assaults someone is an attacker. Shoplifting and shoplift and a shoplifter is uh, to... <laughs> no, 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 you don't do that. You just, you just go in a shop and you take something without anybody seeing you or trying that, trying that nobody sees you, okay? Urto en tiendas. Then arson... Arson, remember the Arsenal Stadium burning on fire, so it's to do with fire, and an arsonist is the person who sets fire to things and burns things to commit arson. That's the collocation. Bye, Christine. Christine's going. Okay. Uh, blackmail, uh, very easy. Blackmail and blackmailer. We saw that was extorsionar, chantajear. And, and Mark, we had before to assault someone in the street to get money from them or hit them or commit violence against them. And a mugger is the person. Embezzlement, embezzle, embezzler is malversar fondos. When you're, uh, especially when you're a public officer, somebody who is in charge of uh, custody of, of money or assets and you just use it for your own purpose. Stalking, to annoy someone to the point of crossing the line, to follow people, also possible online, to be an online stalker, and molestar or acosar someone illegally. To kidnap, uh, kidnapping is the, is the crime, kidnap is the verb, and kidnapper is el secuestrador. Secuestrar, people, okay, people, not things. Money laundering to clean money, not with water, but through a business or some kind of legal activity. So to pass money through something legal to change illegal money to clean legal money. Trespass, trespassing, um, uh, that is allanamiento. So when you invade the property, your property that is not yours, you just get in a house with, well, a house and a piece of land. Just, you don't need to go in the house, just the piece of land, because whatever reason, no? that's not legal. And to squat is the verb, to squat is to live illegally in a place that is not yours and you do not pay rent. So you're living in a place illegally um, because you're occupying it without permission. And you are a squatter if you do that. Hijacking, hijack and hijacker is Apropiación, secuestro, no? When you, we talked about planes, usually there's the, there was the most common one, but it can also be ships, it can be a bus, it can be a car, whatever, that you, you, you try to, um, you force the people to do things that you want them to do by, well, using a weapon and, and you, you use the vehicle as a, as a mean of, uh, let's say, as a, as a mean, of, to commit this crime, no? Mm -hmm. Murder, to kill someone, um, uh, to take their life, and if they happen to be important, like a politician, then it's called assassination. Yeah, to assassinate. To assassinate and, yeah, <laughs> and then uh, we have trafficking, trafficking collocation with drugs, it's, in Spanish it's traficar, and and finally, um, vandal, to destroy public property, um, to be a vandal. Vandalism is the crime. Remember that ism, and the verb is to vandalize. Okay, that's about it. Thank you very much for coming. Uh, I, I would like you to visit el blog para aprender inglés and blog del inglés. Uh, in a couple of weeks, I'll, I'll, I'll post the, all this information in Spanish. Um, mm, Oh, Jose Ignacio says, I didn't know that the time had changed in, in Spain. Yes. One yeah, they should stop doing that. Why do they keep changing the time? It's crazy. <laughs> People are not working uh, in the fields. They don't need it. Yeah. 
Thank you very much, Felipe. That's, he, says he likes the etymology, the history of the terms. Or well, maybe we'll do some uh, more etymology next time. I, I would like that because it's very, yeah. I, I'm very curious. I say, like, oh, where, where does it come from? I'll make a note, um, etymology. Thank you, thank you very much, Christine and Rafa. I suppose. Uh, so time is over. Thanks. Oh, Christine's left. Uh, and, and Rafa says they live here, the Vandals, uh, yes. when the Dizzy Gods survived here. Yeah. The Vikings. It. Thank you, Anilu. Thank you, Miriam. And, Thanks for okay. being here. Next time, and uh, remember to visit Mansión del Inglés and English Podcast. Uh, and we'll see you, I will see you in 15 days, and Craig uh, is going to see you next week, I suppose. Next week with Lynn, I think, yeah, okay. I hope. So thanks for Thank watching, and have a, have a happy Easter, and stay safe. Happy Easter. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.